What are normals? It occurs to me that not everyone has a grasp of what normals are. So follow along with me while I create a cylinder, get into edit mode, and show you how to display the normals. Near the right side of the 3D viewport's header, there is a menu item, a drop-down with an overlapping pair of solid outlined circles. This is called the Overlays drop-down. You might have to scroll down to find the Normals section. Click on the Face Normals button, which is a little square with a line sticking out of it. And then I recommend you grab the size and increase those normals so you can see them better. Cyan lines appear on every face. Most of the time I think of normals as vectors that point out perpendicular to the surface of each face. The direction indicates which side of the face will be visible in systems like OpenSim. This is actually a kludge called back face culling. In closed objects like this cylinder, your computer can save half of its processing power by not bothering to draw the faces that have a normal pointing back away from the screen. This is why you may have seen faces invisible on one side on some non-closed objects in world. It turns out that 3D models don't actually store a single normal like this for each face. Instead, a normal is stored for each corner of each face. A typical 3D model consists of a pile of vertices, a pile of normals, a pile of UV map coordinates, and a list of faces that link them all together. Each face is a list of corners, four for a quadrangle, that reference the other piles in any order, so face corners can share vertices. If I drag one vertex around, you can see that the, the, the three faces that, that share that same vertex are dragged around as well. You can see those separate corner normals by bringing up the overlays drop down again and clicking on the display split normals, which is a square with two vectors sticking out of it. Note you can dis display this and the face normals at the same time. On the default cylinder, you should see three normals sticking off of, of each vertex, pointing in three different directions. These three corners share the same vertex, but they have different normals so far. If I select all and face shade smooth, the normals are now calculated for smooth shading by merging those three vectors we saw earlier, averaging them or some other calculation together into a single vector that is now shared by all, <coughs> by all three faces at each vertex. Here's how normals are used in the process of rendering an object. The normals at the corners are interpolated meaning leaned over. They start at this angle, they end up at that angle, and in between, halfway there, halfway across, halfway up between that, they're a quarter of the way across. So I'm not drawing them very well, but the normals uh, are calculated for each pixel as you, as you draw each pixel along the edge of a face. The same thing happens vertically. <laughs> That's supposed to be a straight line. And then... Uh, across uh, each scan line of the image, this scan line here, uh, new normals are calculated that point away from the surface in straight lines. And then the angle between your viewpoint, which where your eye is looking from, the point where the light source is coming from, and the angle of the normal, these three angles are used to calculate how much light each pixel reflects back to your eye. When we had flat shading turned on, you may have noticed that for any single face, the uh, magenta normals were pointing in the same direction as the, uh, as the face normals. The perspective is uh, screwing that up for us a little bit. But when you when you do this normal uh, shading calculation from point to point and all the, the, vec the normal vectors are pointing in the same direction, you get the same value for the normal and then you get the, the same amount of reflected light uh, 
on every pixel and the surface looks flat, uh, barring minor little details like the fact that the light source is not at infinity and so it does change from a little bit from location to location. When we select Shade Smooth, this changes how the normals are calculated. So they are the average of the face normals around each vertex. Now as normals are interpolated at render time around the, the cylinder, they slowly lean from one edge to the next, and the cylinder looks smooth. Unfortunately, it is too smooth since this calculation is also done at the, at the top edge, and you can see the magenta normals are pointing out at a 45 degree angle, and that means that the edge is trying to look like it is rounded from the vertical on the top to the sideways on the side. It's trying to, to get halfway smooth as it comes around that corner. I'm going to uh, stop here and in the next video uh, explain how and why auto shading solves this problem. And so uh, stay tuned for that video.